Hello. Hope you're having an engaging learning experience with the simulations course um, on EDX. A lot of effort went into creating this course. It's a new kind of course that fully leverages the power of uh, simulation technology. And I think it's a great way to learn not only applications of simulation um, and engineering problem solving, but also the fundamentals. We are seeing people helping each other on the discussion boards, which is uh, this is really great to see. And a lot of the excitement about the MOOCs and MOOC movement is, you know, is partly because of this capability of um, people being able to help each other through the the discussion boards. And it's not only the people who get help who benefit, but people who are actually providing, you know, who are answering questions and so on. They, they benefit too because when you're explaining something or teaching something, it really makes it much more concrete in your mind. So it's a win-win situation. By the way, on the discussion boards, be careful not to post the answers. You can say, hey, you know, I got this, uh, this value and it doesn't match the answers, um, but you don't need to tell what the answer is because the answer, you know, one can go and um, the staff, for instance, has access to, to the answers. If I go to the course and I can actually um, select the discussion um, tab over here and I can see all the discussions and including the most recent ones. Before you post a question, the first thing you want to do is search if you know there have been similar questions. So before that, I want to point out these pinned threads. Um, any major issues that come up, we will put it, we'll you know we'll pin it up over here. So you want to scan this periodically to see that uh, you know nothing new has come up. So if, look at this, you know if there are if anything's come up over here, and then search. So let's say there have been quite a few questions on heat flux at the right boundary in the 2D conduction homework. So if I just search for heat flux, I can see you know there have been a bunch of questions. And uh, for instance, um, here's a question, heat flux at node four. Here's another question, heat flux on node four. Here's another question, heat flux boundary conditions. They're all very similar or almost the same question. So you wanna make sure that you search before you post. Um, by the way, you can also, you know, if I, if you go, if I get rid of this and I say show topics, you can also, you know, look at it by, by module and so on. So this is a, a useful way to look at the discussions. You can also go into the home tab um, and we will, you know, any updates there are, we will post as announcements. So this is, you know, what's been there originally if I sh show. I'll hide this. Um, we added something on, you know, help for Portuguese speakers. Um, Julio, who you might have noticed, is providing a lot of help on the discussion boards. Um, he has been helping me a lot with this course, and he's one of the teaching assistants for the course. He is a native Portuguese speaker and has kindly agreed to help people in Portuguese, um, if they are, you know, if they are na native Portuguese speakers, so you can post questions in Portuguese and just tag them, you know, in the subject, indicate that the question is in Portuguese, and that way you can get help in Portuguese. So those are some of the things to keep in mind as you're, you know, wading through the course and wading through the the discussion board.